Yo, what's going on guys? This is Win and welcome back to another video. So I'm sure many of you have already seen that in the 3.4 update, PUBG Mobile has brought a ton of amazing content, including vampire castles, werewolf settlements, you can fight Dracula, and you can even transform into werewolves and vampires themselves and use their powers for a limited time. Now, one thing we have in this update that I don't think we've ever had before in PUBG Mobile is that behind all of this awesome content, there's actually a story and a bunch of history behind how it all got here and why it's here on Erangel. Now, PUBG Mobile has asked me today to go into the game and try to find and piece together the clues of this story and uncover why all of it is here. They're sponsoring today's video, and of course, you guys can go to the link in the description to download PUBG Mobile and try to uncover the clues for yourself. Now, where we're gonna start is, of course, jumping into a match. Let's see if we can go around these settlements in these castles and find some clues and piece it together about what's going on in this update. Also, real quick, if you guys want to skip over the hunting for clues and get right to the good part, I'll put timestamps on this video so you can go right to the main story at the end of the video. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is head into the vampire castle here up on the Stalber Mountain. I'm not going to lie, if I were building a castle, this is probably the place that I would do it too. Now, I'm normally hot dropping here, I'm looking for weapons, I'm checking the skies, but this time we're going to be looking at something a little different. Let's actually look at the castle itself. Now, the first thing that we see is that this thing is starting to break free. It looks like there's a black hole in there, there's some crimson energy, something's going on. We've even got the bats swirling around non-stop, so I don't know about you guys, but I think something evil might be coming out of this castle. Now let's keep checking around here. We know kind of what the outside of the castle looks like. Maybe this is where the villagers lived. We definitely have some chests and some loot. We have some statues here too. So obviously if I had to guess, I do think that this is probably Dracula's lair. But what's interesting is that he's not home. So he's clearly not here. So we have to figure out exactly where he went or what happened to him and why nobody's home. Yeah, see, there's that crimson power. It's starting to get even crazier here. Looks like there's even some of these crimson, like, crystal fragments around. We know that we can find those around the map, so maybe that's actually where they come from. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of clues here on the inside of the castle. There are so many different rooms, and this is one of the biggest hot drops that we've ever had. Now, clearly, the very first thing is we've got the throne. It's standing tall here, and uh, this definitely looks like this is Dracula's throne. We have even more rooms on the side of the castle. We've got like the kitchen, the dining room. There's a lot going on. But if we go upstairs, I think we start to get more into Dracula's like personal quarters. Hmm. And it looks like there was uh, something going on in this room for sure. We've got all the chairs. We've got kind of maybe some of that crimson energy is like inside of this bowl here. Now, one of the rooms that I spent probably the most time in, and there's always a lot of fights breaking out in here. It's this room right here. And I always thought it was like a library, it looked like bookshelves. But now that I'm like really finally getting a good look at it, I think this is more than a library. This almost feels like a laboratory. Especially this, what do we have going on here? I'm not sure what Dracula was up to, but this looks, um... We should probably remember this room. This seems kind of important. Alright, I'm gonna go up to the throne and see if we can do anything here. Wow, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this throne is definitely important, and I'm pretty sure we heard Dracula's voice, so... I'm gonna make a note of that. This We've got some pretty important clues here. We can also become a vampire. So these salves are really interesting. Having the ability to become a vampire, and I even have another one where we can become a wolf later on, a werewolf. So one of the crazy things I noticed about the castle is that you have these red flowers everywhere. You even have vines coming up the side of the castle. It's starting to feel like things are getting really overgrown, and especially with that crimson power on the top of the tower, if you notice some of the horses nearby that get a little bit too close to the castle, they also have crimson power in them, and they're even stronger than regular horses. In fact, they can double jump. I've never seen a horse do this. So this crimson power has got to be pretty crazy, right? If it can start to mutate horses and it's causing the castle to have this like dark energy. I don't know. Something about this power, man. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Now, 
I think we've gotten everything we need here at the castle. Let's go down to the werewolf settlements and see if there's anything to uncover down there and to check out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What is that? Huh. Crimson crystal. Okay. So I think I found one of those crystals that we saw, like, swirling around. I just found one of them. And we can actually use it. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have a challenge button. Okay, I don't know if I want to go into the uh, super creepy red mystery portal. But let's see what it is. Oh, nice. This looks nice. Oh, oh, Dracula appears in five seconds. Um, help. Oh, no, oh, no. What have I gotten myself into? Oh, no. I smell. No, I am not prey, and I do not smell. Oh, jeez. It's time. Nope, I'm good. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sacrifice anything, big guy. Whoa, 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 No, no, no. Okay, hey. Um. Uh. Yep. Okay, I think, you know, it might just be time to... See ya! Okay. That could have been bad. So, that was Dracula. I don't know why he's, like, in an alternate dimension. Interesting. I guess we found him. He's not at the castle anymore. Uh, he's... Maybe he's trapped? I don't know. Do we want to help him get out? I don't think we want to help him get out, but either way, we're almost on our way to a wolf settlement. So let's go check that out and see what's going on down there and see what's happening in uh, werewolf world. All right, here we go. This is looking a lot different from how the vampires used to live, but this is still pretty interesting. Getting kind of like some Viking type of vibes. This is interesting. Okay, so let's see. First up, looks like we've got a lot of like wooden buildings. A lot of, definitely a lot of wolf stuff, as you'd expect. Feels very, like, spiritual. And first up, right off the bat, we have this massive statue. It's either honoring werewolves or maybe, like, one particular werewolf. And there's a lot going on. I'm actually seeing some beams of glowing light, too. Let's go investigate that. Oh, I found another crimson crystal. No, we are not. We are not going back in there. Alright, it seems to be the longhouse. And we have a huge tree over here, too. That looks cool. Oh, look at this. So we have werewolf spirits. I wonder if we can, like, communicate with them. Maybe... Oh, what if I tried becoming a werewolf? I mean, we're at the settlement. Maybe we become a werewolf. So we also have the powers of wolves that have been created in these selves as well. But we don't know why. And we don't know where the werewolves went. But maybe we can ask their, uh, their spirits. Hey. Where'd you guys go? Where are all the where are all the werewolves? Oh, what's oh what's that? Oh, did you guys see that? Like a spirit went kind of into this house. I see another one over here. Let's let's maybe check this out. Okay. Let's see where does this one go? Oh oh, this goes towards that tree. Okay. Nice. This tree looks crazy cool. Okay, there's a third one. We've got to be getting pretty close. Let's check this out. Like, what's going on? Interesting. Another big wolf statue. Wolf spirit soothe. Okay, there's another... Oh, I see a purple beam of light now. Okay, success. Enough wolf spirits have returned. Okay, so the wolf spirits have returned. Maybe they were lost. Let's check this out. Whoa! Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, you get a ton of loot. Nice. Wow, all right. Well, we've already seen spirits. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at this. Wait. Wait a minute. We have like some old... Oh. Check this out. So it looks like we've got some werewolves down here. That must be Dracula. That looks exactly like the Dracula we saw up in the Crimson Rift. Okay, so that's Dracula. He doesn't look too happy. And these werewolves, they don't look too happy either. So I'm, I'm sensing some tension here. Hmm. So there must have been some kind of conflict. That's interesting. 
If you get close enough, there's actually a view button. It says, Hatred is born from injustice. Interesting. Okay. So, definitely, these guys were not getting along. And there was some kind of injustice. So, maybe these werewolves were getting attacked. Or, or even worse, by Dracula. We then have another one here. So, it looks like we got the werewolf and the human. But this looks a little more friendly. It looks like a handshake. The light of the alliance breeds hope. There we go. Okay, so now we've got an alliance. So, we had an injustice and hatred. Now we've got an alliance, but humans are brought into the mix. Okay. Do we have any more? Oh, yes. Okay, now we have another one. Now, like, humans and wolves, we see their backs. They're facing Dracula. So, this might be that alliance we were talking about. The alliance and the resistance. Retribution of blood and bone. Interesting. Okay, is there one more? Yes, there's one more. Okay, these guys down here. It looks like they might be, like, cheering, like, yeah. And, I don't know, Dracula is looking like, uh, looking like he's getting put in a spin cycle, man. So, maybe he's getting, uh... That, that red rift, that looks a lot like the Crimson Rift that we went through when we found him. Maybe that's where he went, and werewolves and humans sent him there. Glory, glory, endless glory. So, it looks like they won. So, this conflict is over, and Dracula seems to be kind of locked away. Man... Okay, we have so much to work with here. Hmm. So, all in all, we've seen there's been this crimson power. Dracula's missing from his castle, but he, he had laboratories and all this crimson stuff going on. We actually found a crystal. We went to the rift. We saw him, and then we come here, and it looks like there was some kind of conflict a long time ago, and that's kind of how it ended was Dracula getting... Banished in glory, glory, all this glory. So, let's see if we can put all these clues together and see if we can uncover this story. So, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to go think about this for a minute. All right, I thought about this. I put all of the clues on a board. I was kind of like that one guy in that meme that's like, all right, hear me out. You know what I mean? So, it looks like there was a war like a thousand years ago. Werewolves, vampires, humans, all in this conflict, right? And then the werewolves and the humans were like, yo, let's form an alliance. This Dracula guy is going a little crazy. We got to take him out. Now, it looks like in his castle, Dracula, a thousand years ago, was creating and messing around with this crimson power. But I think it was too strong. It corrupted him. And that's why you see it's starting to, like, come back on the castle. It even is, like, corrupting some of the horses nearby. And maybe it drove him into this frenzy. And Dracula just went crazy. And he just started attacking everyone. Not even werewolves and humans. He even started attacking his own vampires. And that's why today we don't even see the werewolves or vampires anymore. Dracula destroyed everyone. In fact, the humans were the only ones that managed to survive. But like we saw at the werewolf settlement... During this conflict, they were able to seal him away so that he could not destroy Erangel anymore. And all of these spirits around the werewolf settlements, they must be the fallen companions from that war a thousand years ago. And maybe these big statues, maybe that was their leader. And maybe he made some crazy sacrifice in order to help seal away Dracula once and for all. But as we saw on the castle... Some of that crimson energy is starting to come out. It's cracking. It's breaking. These crimson crystals are all over the map. The rifts are starting to open up. And it's feeling like this seal that's holding Dracula back is starting to fail. And he might be making a comeback. Now, werewolves and vampires are lost, right? They're gone forever. But their powers are still here. Because these werewolf and vampire salves were what humans created in order to still use their powers. And that may be what they can do to fight back and vanquish Dracula once and for all. It's all starting to make sense now, man. That's so crazy. I had no idea that this story was like all throughout this update. I've just been landing, hot dropping, getting chicken dinners, and I had no idea that I was running past these paintings in the werewolf settlement or a laboratory where dracula created the crimson power it's right there inside of his castle dude just like it's mind-blowing that there was a whole history behind this update i think it's actually super cool let me know what other stories you think might be hidden here because there might be even some clues that i missed or 
Do you think there have been some other stories behind past updates? Let me know below down in the comments and uh, what part of this story was your favorite part? Let me know as well. Don't forget you guys can download PUBG Mobile and experience all of this amazing content, the gameplay as well as the story if you go to the link in the description. Thanks again to PUBG Mobile for sponsoring today's video and asking me to try to piece together these clues. I thought this was pretty cool. So let me know guys below if you want me to do another video like this maybe for the future updates. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and of course I will. See you guys next time.